So this right here is the HCO5 Bluetooth module. Uh, it's a simple and affordable Bluetooth module that can be connected to this Arduino Nano in just a few steps. So, so in this t uh, so in this tutorial, we will learn how to connect the HCO5 to the Arduino Nano and write a simple Bluetooth uh, code to get you started, so that you can connect your uh, HCO5 to your phone and send some code back and forth and some data. So this is a little diagram about the setup, and uh, later I'll show you the actual setup that I have, but I just want to go through this diagram and explain a few things. So right here we have the VCC, and this is just, uh, it'll receive power from the Arduino, it'll connect to the 5 volt right here, and uh, this is how, how it'll uh, receive power. And then we have a ground from uh, the HCO5 to the ground here, so it just ground to ground. And now we have a transmitter, so this will go to, I believe it's D. Two. This will go to D2, and this will transmit in info from the HCO5 to the Arduino board. And uh, right here we have a uh, receiver, which will receive info from uh, the Arduino. And uh, since uh, this board is set up in 3.3 volt, and this uh, transmits uh, information in the form of 5 volts, we need a resistor here to make sure that we don't damage this board. So we have one resistor going right before the D3. One resistor to the ground, and I will show you guys in this my board, uh, my board. But that's how the setup is right now. All right, so just so you guys can see this on my board, this red cable right here is the VCC, and it's going to five volts. So that's how it's receiving power. This is the ground, and uh, this is the transmitter. So it's transmitting info in the form of three point three volts, and this receiver is receiving info in the form of five volts. So we have to minimize that to. Uh, 3.3 volts so we have a resistor i'm not sure if you guys can see this but there's a resistor right here i have very tiny resistors there's one right here if you can't see that right there that's a resistor right before um the d2 so this is the train uh so right here d2 receiver goes to d2 transmitter goes to d3 so we have a resistor right before the d2 and then we have a resistor if we flip this around from ground to receiver I have a wire going there, and I have a resistor right here. I'll also uh, link below a little breadboard image if you guys need that, if you have breadboards. And uh, I'll link that uh, little diagram down below. So that's that. All right, so I'm gonna go through this code really quick. Uh, this will all be in the description, the code. So um, first we're gonna define our transmitter receivers. This is D2, this is D3, the pins. Uh, so we just define those. And then uh, we begin uh, transfer, and it's at 9,600 baud. That's the rate at which this is transferring. Um, and then we begin the serial monitor. So that's just right here, tools to uh, serial, mo T serial monitor. And then we uh, do our loop code right here. So we get a character from the serial, uh, serial port. So we get a character from our phone, and then uh, it loops, um, so C is equal to the character we just uh, gave it from our phone, and then we have a switch case, uh, if we enter A, it leaves a certain message, if we enter B, it leaves a certain message, and if it's neither, it says please enter A or B, and then, yeah, that's basically the code, you can mess around with this as much as you want, but that's just the basic. Alright, so I have my, uh module right there as you can see and here's my computer so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just gonna upload my code real quick uh, upload and while we're waiting for that to happen uh, I'll show you guys the app we'll be using to communicate with it it's called BT terminal it's free on the app store you just go here you can type in any message it'll send and the module will receive and give you a message back so just get that app real quick and one second Alright, so I had the wrong uh, serial, serial port selected, but fix that. So now we're just going to go to, first you want to go to settings, Bluetooth, nope, sorry, Bluetooth, turn it on, and now just wait for it to appear. Um, I believe it's this one. All right, it's this one right here. See, it says HCO5. Uh, there's there's usually going to be a pin. Mine is one two three four. It'll probably be one two three four or zero zero zero. Uh, press OK. 
and now it has paired with the device. So now you go to BT terminal, connect, and I'm going to connect with this real quick. And now you're going to message connected, press A, send, you have entered A, I'll press B, send, you've entered B, oh what, you've entered B right there as you can see, now I'll enter something random, and pretty, please press enter A or B. So it works, thank you for watching, um, and hopefully this help, video helped you.